Election 2016. How did this happen? Did people vote for a billionaire with a gold chair so he'd fix the economy for regular folk? Or is there another explanation? My name's Aaron, and my husband Dave and I have talked to over 100,000 Rust Belt voters in the last few years. We've seen firsthand how fake news and right-wing media are undermining our democracy and tearing our country and families apart. So who here hates Hillary Clinton? Fuck her up, fuck her up, fuck her up! I can't stand her up, she's scary. She flies all around her face all the time. You can just feel the evil coming from her. I can see it from her face. There are dozens of videos and photos of Obama having flies land on him indoors at all times of year, and he'll be next to 100 people and no one has flies on him. Hillary reportedly, I mean, I was told people around her that they think she's demon possessed. We are the Hear Yourself Think Project, and this Thanksgiving, we'll teach you how to make America think again. When we're afraid, we lash out in anger and rage, but our history reminds us that there's another way, if we're brave enough to follow it. Let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. We have nothing to fear but the absence of fear. Fake news designed to make us angry and afraid shuts down our ability to reason and think things through. These fear-based stories activate the part of our brain that responds to threat putting our lizard brain in the driver's seat. It's a bunker brain mentality where the safest place for a toddler is in the arms of a woman carrying an assault rifle. When you're trapped in an echo chamber, you can't hear yourself think. The hear yourself think method has three parts. Step one, find common ground. Take a step back and remember the connections that we share. Step two, cultivate self-reflection. Ask questions to help us think beyond the slogans. Step three, tell a story from our history that gets people thinking critically about the media's influence on all of us. Should you always believe what you think? Or is someone pushing your panic button? Hearing each other is the first step on the path to freedom from fear. Think about what our media sources are saying and how they're maybe manipulating us, not just, not just on one side or the other. They're definitely right, right. They're definitely. It was really a pleasure talking to you. Especially since we don't come here. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. This Thanksgiving, when we sit down with our families, let's be grateful for the opportunity to really hear each other. We are Hear Yourself Think. Join us this Thursday, and let's make America think again.